This game was made in 2004, apparently. That seems pretty late for a uh, PS2 game, right? Nah, maybe I'm thinking of PS1. 2004, I guess, was... what? Because the PS2 came out around 2001, 2000... Right around there. So I guess it's not actually that late. Just, I don't know. Something about it felt late. Uh, but yeah, so this is just a collection of classic Atari arcade games? Question mark? I think... On the back of the box here, it said 18. 18 classic arcade games, including Asteroids, Battle Zones, Centipede, Missile Command, Tempest, and more. Oh, shit. And then there's 67 Atari 2600 games, including Gravatar, Millipede, Super Breakout, Video Pinball, Yars Revenge, and Warlords. Okay, so there's there's a lot. Oh, God. I just hit my monitor, and I hit it hard. Thankfully, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> anyways... So yeah, apparently there's there's a lot of classic games to be had on on this disc here. Um, okay. Ooh, it uses constellations for their collection. What's a bonus? The Atari Twenty Six Hundred Owner's Manual. That's kind of neat, man. <laughs> I mean, if you're, like, a big Atari collector or something like that, I guess that's kind of neat. Oh, we can't actually, like, flip through it? I was hoping we could actually, like, flip through all the pages of it. No, no luck there. And then... Oh, wait, yeah, okay, there we go. I must have just been going the wrong way. <laughs> wow. That's... That's a thing, I guess. Video of the Atari founder couple videos of the Atari founder. All right, I mean that's neat and all, but let's let's check out a couple of the games. So we have Adventure, Action, Arcade at Home, Sports, Mind Games, Arcade Originals, Racing Games, Space Games, and Casino Games. Let's check out Mind Games just because I have no idea what the hell that is. You love it? I honestly these collection of games I've always found pretty neat. Uh so we have 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, Atari Video Cube, Backgammon, Fun with Numbers, Hangman, Math Grand Prix, <laughs> Maze Gr Craze, Surround, Video Checkers, and Video Chess. Dude, let's do Math Grand Prix. Let's see how bad I am at math right now when I'm half asleep and in the middle of streaming. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So you have regular game, and then you have trippy mode, double speed, time warp, and then back to the just the game. TV mode color or black and white? What? Uh, okay, just regular. There's a lot more options here than I thought. Okay, let's try it regular first, and then we'll go to Trippy. Adventure has the first Easter egg ever in any game. I think I saw a video about that one time. Addition and subtraction, easy. One player. X is reset. Circle is game select. L1 is player one difficulty. Easy. R2's TV mode. Okay. Wonder what hard mode is. Well, let's just do easy. <laughs> so, X is game reset. Two or three spaces. Uh, three? Zero plus zero? Zero. So, hold on a sec. Three spaces. One minus zero. Can we do negative one? Oh no, it's one minus zero. Huh, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's also mentioned in Ready Player One. That might be where I saw it from then. So is it like the more spaces we pick, the harder the question is supposed to be or something? Okay, three spaces. Three plus three is six. Four, five, six. Computer's always doing two spaces. Weird. Three. Nine plus six is 15. One. Five. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When a game was named Math Grand Prix, I thought it was going to be a little bit more uh, high octane, you know? I mean, it's an Atari game, so I wasn't expecting anything crazy. 
but I thought there was going to be like time limits to the questions and like if we failed the question we would wreck or or, or something. I didn't think it was going to be <laughs> this. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. Ooh, PC's going three spaces now. Six minus two, four. Wonder what happens when we get a question wrong. What? I have no idea what just happened there. Eight minus three, five. Besides the gift stuff, you got everything packed up? Hell yeah, dude. Good job, love. 3 plus 9, 12. Uh, not 0, 12. Over. Okay, it's not the most responsive controls in the world. <laughs> I don't know if that's the emulator's fault or the, uh, the Atari's fault, but... 12 plus 3, 15. I'm, I'm pressing up. It's not 13. There we go. 15. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have to answer a three space question to win? I mean, that's fine. I don't mind. 16. Hey, race over. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, addition and subtraction. Multiply and multiplication and division. Okay, exit. I just want to know what trippy mode is. Oh, it's locked? How do you unlock it? Well, damn, dude. Now I'm sad. Uh, okay, let's get out of mind games. Let's try to do at least one from each section or something. So we got adventure games. Is adventure in here? It is. We got Adventure, Haunted House, Sword Quest, Earth World, Sword Quest, Fire World, Sword Quest, Water World. Well, I'm sorry, but we have to check out Fire World. <laughs> so it also has trippy double speed time warp. How do we unlock the different options? Whoa, okay. That's one hell of an animation. Oh, wait. That was reset, wasn't it? Oh, wait. What? What? What's going on now? I don't. I don't know what's going on here. What? What are we doing? Why? Why are these birds falling so quickly? Oh God. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh... Okay, so purple room, yellow room, is it back to purple room? Okay, so that's going in a loop. So what happens when we go down in purple room? Uh, different yellow room. Oddly enough, there's no up here. <laughs> so how did we get to this room by moving down? Uh, what? Why, why can't I move that way? There's clearly a thing there. Oh, are we trying to dodge them now? Oh no. Oh no. Ah! We're gonna, we're gonna die. Oh god. Bro, I have no idea what the hell is going on. You could have told me this was trippy mode, and I would have believed you. Okay, what does circle do? Nothing. And every time we press X, we end up in here. Bro, what kind of drugs were they on when they made this shit? And why do these sprites, like, half disappear sometimes? Oh, God. Oh, God. How long does this go on for? I just I just want to win. Oh. Uh What? 
Was that meant to be a hint or something? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. This is a room that burns my eyeballs. We're back to purple room. Dark green room? What happens if we go down? Uh, now somehow we're back in this yellow room. Room that hurts my eyes. Uh, bruh, I'm so confused. I feel like this is an adventure-like game. Where if you know the path, the game takes like 10 seconds to beat. But otherwise, it's like how... What? What? <laughs> And the layout makes no sense. You go down, and then you end up in a room that has no up. <laughs> how does that even... Like, how are you supposed to draw a map of the room or something? The the world. Okay. So this just switches us between dark purple and light purple. Up takes us to the green. Does down take us back to the purple? No, it takes us to yellow, because of course it does. Uh, just keep going up and right? I don't know. Wait, we're back in this one again. How do we get back to the purple room? Okay, purple room. What happens if we go left? It, orange room. Down? <laughs> Help? Okay, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's going on. There's a hard mode? Wait, didn't I just put the game in black and white mode? Help? Oh. Oh! There's the manual for it! Okay. Uh, zoom. This is not a very good scan. As a warrior, you'll need courage and skill, but you'll also need to be a detective and an explorer to find the hidden clues and solve the Fireworld puzzle. Remember, this game is a puzzle. These instructions will not tell you how to solve the puzzle but together with the comic book will help you find the necessary clues how are you supposed to read this this is not a good scan okay so i'm assuming oh what bruh what even is this yeah <laughs> i think I think we're done with this game. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I am very lost. Okay, what's the what's adventure like? From what I remember of the, the video I think I watched, I'm pretty sure adventure is fairly similar to what we just played, but maybe without the weird minigame sections. Small kingdom? Full kingdom, full kingdom with random placement. A uh, small kingdom. Okay. We got the key. Key lets us go through door. Uh, we now have an arrow. Oh, we can pick stuff up and drop it. Okay. Can we, like... Oh, no. Can I pick that back up? Okay. Ooh, I thought it might have been gone. Okay, the other buttons don't seem to do anything. Oh, that killed you. Okay. Um, I don't know where we're trying to go. That was a bridge. Oh, no, we need the key. Okay, hold on. We can do this. And it was over here, and then down here. Okay, you're dead. I don't know what's with that wall. Okay, grab the key. Hopefully, I feel like we're going to end up needing that arrow again, and I'm going to be very sad. Or sword, or whatever the hell that was meant to be. Okay. And then through the bridge, and up. Oh, it's a different key! Son of a bitch. And we left our weapon behind. What if we just keep going to the right then? 
That's a dead end. Um, is there any, like, can we cross over here even though it's not shown? No. Okay. What if we go left from the main screen, the one that we started on? Ooh, or up here? Uh, nope. Dead end. Okay. So this is just a maze. Let's go left. And then right. Uh, ooh, 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 we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Okay. 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 Oh, that just, okay. <laughs> just brings us here, sadly. The key doesn't need to be, like, in front of us, does it? To go through? No? Oh, well. We tried. Hmm. I wish I remembered the Easter egg for this game, because I would totally try and uh, do it, bring it up. I don't even remember necessarily what the Easter egg was. Oh, down, uh, right, down, left, down, right. Oh, that's okay. That just brought us back there. Okay, go up here maybe. And around, and around, that just brought us back here. Hmm. Okay, we're missing something somewhere. Let's grab the sword, whatever this is. Ah! Okay, hold on. Equip it this way. Die, bitch. Nice, okay. I think this is the key we need. I'm hoping this is the key we need. What was it? It was just right and then... Yeah, 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 okay. We're good, we got this. Let's go, okay, what is this? Oh, a magnet. Nice, does it work in between? Uh, kind of? Um, okay. I feel like, I feel like we're going to end up losing that key. I want to bring the sword and maybe a key both with me. That's why I'm grabbing the magnet. Because I'm assuming, yeah, 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 look at that. Oh, but it won't. Why is it not bringing it through the screen? Hold on. Maybe it's just like it needs to be in front of us or something. No, it's not bringing it. Oh, oh, okay. We can kind of, I don't think it's meant to work that way necessarily, but we can kind of like trick both things to coming through if we just like run into them constantly uh i think we broke something <laughs> i don't i don't think i don't think it's meant to work this way <laughs> why why is everything glitching out uh, it's fine. Just keep going. Uh, okay. It's fine. Uh, I need this. No. I, I want, I want this, please. Oh my god, game. Okay, you know what? This is fine. Kind of. Um... I just, uh, okay, hold on. Leave you there. There we go. Oh, it must not like having all of this stuff on the screen. Wait, we can move the bridge? 
Are we supposed to be able to move the bridge? Oh. Oh. Uh. That's an item? Is this a glitch? <laughs> you hate this game? Oh, wait, that's the end of the game. Wait a second. Hold on, though. A ain't I going to need this bridge? You hate this game? You never understood it? Wait, so you've actually played it before, love? What happens if I put the bridge, like, over here? Can I, like... No, okay. I don't know if we're meant to be able to move the bridge. That might be a glitch. No? Seems like it's meant to be a thing. It was on the little Atari joystick? You had... It's just an adventure game. That's why it's called Adventure. Your goal is just to, I think, just to find this and then take it back home. I think. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Didn't like it. You looked up a YouTube video about it to show you. Okay, so that doesn't let us go through there. Did we just take it back home? I don't remember. Yes, let's go! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, man. All right, game reset. Uh, now we just have a number one on the screen, and nothing's happening. Okay, well. Adjust screen. No? A uh, quick game. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, we beat Adventure. That's cool. I still don't know how to unlock Trippy Mode. You like Dig Dug in a little racing game when you're a little Atari thing? Uh, I feel like Dig Dug's uh, probably on here. Let's try Action. So we're, we're, we're going to do at least one from each. I don't know if we're going to actually beat them all, but... Canyon Bomber. Air Sea Battle. Circus Atari, Combat, Demons to Diamonds, excuse me, Desert Falcon, Dodge'em, Flag Capture, Human Cannonball, Off the Wall, Outlaw, Radar Lock, Skydiver, Submarine Commander. I mean, Demons to Diamonds, of course. Ooh. Okay, so there's Regular Mode, Hot Seat, Time Challenge, Time Warp, Double Speed, Trippy Mode. Again, all locked, though. Fast Skulls? Two player, no, one player, slow Skulls. Two player, slow Skulls can't hurt. Two player, slow Skulls can't hurt. Just one player, fast Skulls. I guess one player, fast Skulls? Oh, wait, my I, am I shooting? Oh, no, they shoot back! I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. All I know is we're shooting things and hopefully doing good. There's nobody on the opposing team though. So like, what are we, what are we fighting here? I, I think we won. Uh, <laughs> I think we died. Is that GG? That's GG. All right, well, that was <laughs> that was Demons to Diamonds, I guess. I don't understand that game at all. Arcade at home. Asteroids, Battle Zone, Breakout, Centipede, Crystal Castles, Gravitar... Millipede, Missile Command, Super Breakout, Video Pinball, and Warlords. Uh, Super Breakout. Wonder if this is going to be like the Atari version or the arcade version. Since it's arcade at home, yeah, I was going to say probably the arcade version. 
One player double? One player cavity? Well, there's a lot of different modes here. Okay, hold on. One player double sounds cool. One player cavity? Two player cavity. One player progressive. One player children's version. Let's do cavity. What's that about? I don't understand the point of the two paddles if they're just locked to each other. Is it like... What's the... What's the point of the, the paddles? The second paddle. The bottom paddle. I mean, I guess technically it gives us another chance to save, but... Okay, I really don't like the angle that we have this on. Can we kill the angle a little bit? There we go. So, like, whenever we break the... Oh, no! We died! So whenever we break it out of the cavity, do we get, like, a second one that we can hit? Yeah, let's go, dude. I've always liked Breakout, not gonna lie. I've never played it on the Atari, though. Got it. Ah! Okay, there we go. <laughs> They're calmed down a little bit, and I still missed! Oh my god, why so fast? Oh, it glitched through that one. It's moving so fast. Is it like the higher up it hits, the faster it goes? Yeah. Oh. I don't like when it gets so fast it starts glitching through them, though. Damn, we kind of suck at this. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> What's the regular breakout like? regular breakout. I'm assuming, again, this is going to be a Atari. Again, arcade at home and all that. One player, two player, three player, four player. Steerable? Catch. Invisible? Why would you want to do invisible? Timed breakout? Did the actual Atari game have all these options? Holy hell. Breakthrough? What is breakthrough? Breakthrough catch? Okay. Um, is it possible to like... Hold on. I, I want to like... Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta go through all the options to get to the end. Um... I wish there was like a just one player option. Damn it, I went past it again. Okay, whatever. Steerable. We're going to try that game mode, I guess. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, dude. <laughs> Whenever it's moving up, you can control it. Whenever it's moving back down, though, you can't. But, like, your paddle still moves while you're steering. That is weird, man. Nope. Don't care for that at all. We got this. Oh. So, wait. In this version of Breakout, does it just not... Or the Atari version of Breakout, does it just not hit on its way back? Period? At first, I thought it was just because, like, it was moving so fast that it was, like, clipping through or something. But it seems like it's just impossible for them to hit. Ah, whatever. Okay. So, I mean, that was that was Breakout. <laughs> I, think, I think I like the arcade version better. Or the versions I grew up playing. Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Battlezone, Black Widow, Centipede, Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Liberator, Lunar Lander, Major Havoc, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, Red Baron, Space Duel, 
Super Breakout Warlord's Tempest. Well, since we already checked out... Well, you know the script. I was going to say, since we already checked out Breakout, maybe we won't try it again here. But now I just kind of want to see what the differences are between this arcade version and the uh, arcade at home. One player start. Uh, serve. Oh, God, it's so small. Your paddle's, like, tiny in the, the arcade version, huh? I guess they had to get the, the coins from you somehow. Hey, Doodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Oh, it goes so fast, too. And your paddle's so small. I definitely like NES version better. Okay. Wait, data's being saved? We unlocked trippy mode! And double speed! We unlocked all kind of stuff! I don't know why, but we did! <laughs> okay, what's trippy mode? Oh. Oh. It's rainbows. And everything leaves trails. Oh no. Oh, this is this isn't trippy. This is this is bad. <laughs> Should be like Red and Kelso be happy for smaller paddles. Weren't they playing Pong though? Oh, this is this is rough. I bet you if they were playing Breakout, they wouldn't have wanted smaller paddles. Okay, no, we need to... Uh, uh, no, please, help. Exit. I can't... Okay. Trippy mode? Glad we tried it out. Don't need to do it again, though. <laughs> Defeat this challenge by 60 points to unlock challenge modes for another game? No. <laughs> I don't think I will, game. All right, let's try something different. Uh, I've never heard of Gravatar that I can think of. So let's try that. Okay. Start. Okay, so it's kind of like... Kind of like asteroids with the flying ship and stuff. Are we trying to destroy things without dying or... Oh, God. I don't know what's going on. Do we, do we do good or do we do bad? So whenever we run into the enemy ship, we have to try to kill it without dying ourselves. Okay. But what's our actual goal here? Is it to destroy, like, these stars or something? Okay, the stars definitely hurt us when we touch them. All fuel cells are worth 2,500 fuel units? What are the fuel cells? Oh, damn. I did. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what happened. Is there like a help? No. No help in this one. We're just... Just gotta figure it out for ourselves. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Hold on. Okay. We're being shot at, though? Oh, no! You go so fast! Is it possible to slow down? No. Uh, okay. Oh, man. What are, what are we actually trying to do here? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this is so hard to control. Game over? Uh, I think we're done with Gravatar. I am not meant to play it. <laughs> I'm no good at it. We're, we're done with that one. Okay. <laughs> What's the next section? We already tried mind games, uh, sports games. What is what is football or something like bowling, video Olympics, super football, super baseball, real sports volleyball, real sports tennis, real sports football, real sports baseball, miniature golf, home run, golf, football, double dunk, bowling. 
Uh, as much as I like bowling, miniature golf all the way, dude. So we unlock trippy mode on everything now? No. Two player game or one player game? One player. Wait, what? Oh. Hold on, what? Wait, what are we actually... Hold on. So the farther away our thing is, the harder we hit it? But, like, how are we supposed to hit it hard over there when we have, you know, only that much space to move back? That's a weird version of mini golf. <laughs> oh. Damn it, dude. Is it possible to hit it harder? Without, like... Getting farther away? I don't... I don't think I like this version of mini golf. <laughs> okay. Apparently we really smacked it hard there, dude. Ah, uh, We could have gotten so lucky there. What if we just, like, hit it again instantly? No? Okay, well, that's mini golf. What's bowling like on the Atari 2600? I don't understand, like, <laughs> why they decided to make the mini golf like that, you know? Not just give you, like, a power meter or something. One player curve ball, two player curve ball, steerable ball, straight ball. I guess we'll do curve, that's the default. Oh god, it curves a lot. Okay. So it seems like we can pick when it starts to curve, though. Can we? Or am I just imagining it? Hold on. Yeah, okay, we can. Nice. Okay, well. <laughs> We've damn near got the game figured out, though, already. Okay, so does holding the X button for longer actually do anything? Huh. I, I feel like I'm trying to read too much in it. Like, there's probably not as many intricacies as I, as I want there to be here. Ah, oh, we had that. Nice, nice. So the, the ball bounces off of the pins a little bit. Ah, oh, too, too late. Yeah, way too late. Can we get the last two? Let's go! Ah, bro, okay. Oh, 
We bowled a 136. That's not bad, I guess. All right, that was, <laughs> that was bowling, I guess. Bowling made more sense than miniature golf, at least. That miniature golf game was weird. Racing games. What was the name of the racing game that you liked, Noodle? Do you remember? Was it Night Racer, Slot Racer, Sprint Master, Steeple Chase, or Street Racer? Was it one of those ones by any chance? Try Street Racer. One obstacle. Three, four players, two obstacles. Skiing? There's a skiing mode? Wait, are we on two player? Oh no. Oh, why? Why are they going so much faster than we are? How do we move more quickly? They're moving so fast. Oh god, I wrecked. <laughs> Do you move faster by, like, moving side to side? X doesn't seem to do anything. Or square. Or circle. Or triangle. None of the buttons seem to do anything. But my player is, like, super slow compared to the... To this... To the CPU. Is there a... Help yet? Oh god. In all the racing games, use the knob on the top of the controller to steer the vehicle. The red button on the side of the controller is your accelerator. Oh, maybe you have to hold it. I was hitting it. Oh wait, no. Don't don't exit. Oh god, okay. Oh, and then we slow down again. If we let go, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, okay. I see why <laughs> the CPU is having so much trouble. This is much harder whenever you're constantly accelerating. I wonder if there's like a, a never stop accelerating mode. <laughs> We're winning though, just barely, but we are. <laughs> Damn it, we were through that. What do you mean? Okay, slow down. Speed up. Slow down. Shit. Speed up and slow down. Speed up. Slow down. Speed up. Slow down. <laughs> Bro, there we go. You gotta you gotta feather the throttle, that's all. How long does this go on for? Is it just never ending? Oh god. Okay. Let's restart. Quick game, yes. So they're skiing. Is there like, I don't know, snowboarding? Two obstacles. Dodge them. The hell is dodge them? Oh, it's dodgeball? Like we're running? Jet shooter? What? This is like 10 games in one, dude. Oh, and you get points in this one, not for going farther, but for killing things. Okay. Oh, your bullet is so slow compared to them. Nice. Does it get faster every time you kill one? I think it does. I'm pretty... Well, uh, no, I guess not. They're moving at the same speed. Again, I feel like it just kind of goes forever until you reset, though. Like, how many points would they require you to get to end the game? Damn it. We're gonna go to 30. Yeah, it just keeps going. Okay. 
pronounce that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. And Noodle either doesn't remember or didn't hear me. So let's try uh, Night Driver. Ooh, 90 second game. Random, no time limit. Let's do just 90 second game novice. Oh, oh, honestly, this is kind of interesting. Oh man, you like, the car really slides around though. And you can only turn when you're accelerating. Oh, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> Haven't they ever heard of headlights? I know this is Night Driver, but like, bro, turn on your headlights at least. This is so trippy, though, man. Someone who's good at this game, that would be trippy as hell watching them go through this. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not fall under that category of people who are good at this game. Can you actually hit the other cars? I'm not trying to, but yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> Answered my own question. Very nice. Okay, it seems like we get more points for however far we make it. I wonder if there was an arcade version of this game. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, dude. We must have ran out of time. So black and white. Game reset. Is this better or worse? Worse. Yeah, color's the way to go. It's much more trippy in color. Oh, bruh. Bruh. What is even going on right now? Excuse me? Ah, the car! We hit the car! We were doing so good! I couldn't believe it! Maybe black and white is the way to go. Is the game just easier in black and white? <laughs> oh, God. No, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> we just got really lucky. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Just got to get in the... Deep breaths. Just got to get in the zone again. What are we... We need to, like... Are we running from the cops or something? I need some backstory here, man. You can do it? Thanks, man. I don't know what I can do, because there's... It's just a score game. <laughs> like... Ah, there's no actual goal here. <laughs> just make it as far as you can. Oh my god, car! Watch where you're going, man! <laughs> Why are there explosives on the side of the road like this? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're... F oh. 36. Is that better or worse? I don't even know. That that one was pretty cool. That was... I legitimately... You know, if I had that in the 70s or whenever the hell it came out, 80s, I would have probably had a lot of fun with that. Space games. Probably got Space Invaders and... What else? Oh, wait. Space Invader? Is that not Atari? We got Quadrum, Space War, Star Raiders, Starship, Stellar Track, Vars Revenge? Yars Revenge? Vars Revenge? I think that's a Y. Yars Revenge. Got caught going 90 and a 30 and said, Effin, I'm going to run and kick the lights off to help with hiding. Let's go, dude. One player can and doesn't bounce. One player can and bounces. One player ultimate Yars? children's version um one player children's two player children's version one player canon doesn't bounce i'm guessing that's the the base the game so that's the backstory of the game now sounds good enough to me dude
Oh god, okay. <laughs> Wait, am I safe in this zone? I can't shoot in that zone. I can shoot through it. I think I think we're doing okay. Uh, can I not shoot the thing? What what am I trying to do here? Ah! <laughs> okay. Do we have to destroy, like, his entire base? Oh, God. Just a couple more. Just a couple more. Ah! God. Okay, we're fine. The thing, it's like the snail that follows you forever. How do we murder you? Do we have to... No. So making that hit, it didn't do anything. How do we win? And what's the point of this weird fo force field thing? I I don't know. I can oh oh okay. Touching it seemed to do something. Oh oh, uh, that's trippy, bro. <laughs> Uh, what? Oh, God. What was that? I, I second what I said earlier. What kind of drugs were these people on when they made this shit? Oh, God. Okay, let me, let me in here. I want, I want in your base. Your weird, glitchy, fucked up base. Okay, it seems like we can still kind of shoot it. Oh, uh, God. Okay. There you go. I touched him. Let's go. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on, but it's kind of neat. Is that enough space to get in there? Okay, I think the thing is moving faster now. The little thing that's, like, coming to get us. Oh, shoot. Why did it not get him? it like do we have to like aim it well or something oh so we just have to be on his side of the screen and then we can call in like a, a special attack or something hydrate you got it man it's been a little while since we've taken a drink everybody take a drink it's a good time to do it Mm. Thank you, sir. I was getting a little parched, I gotta admit. I'm going a little over, but I wanna I wanna murder this thing. You'll never catch me! That's what I thought. We got so lucky the first two times, I didn't realize that like I thought the beam was just automatic to be honest. Let's go, dude. I didn't realize we actually had to, like, aim that little beam thing that comes from our side over. Oh, it's a bouncy one again. Or wait, is this the the second level? Because we probably did get a game over, didn't we? Rapid fire. Let's go. Oh, God. Let's go, dude. Snuck it right in there. Dude didn't stand a chance. Yeah, okay, because now it's like, oh, he shoots faster. But our, our bombs, our missiles or whatever are blowing up a lot larger chunks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run away. Run away. Run away. Okay. 
Oh god. I don't like the little snail hunting us down, man. Why can I not shoot? He must be like moving faster or something. Oh no. Come on, we got this. We got this. Okay. I think we need to get the snail over here a little bit. Is he gonna shoot again? Like go all Oh, I don't know. Missile on us? Yes. Yes he is. Okay. Okay, so we got we're gonna have to like lead him. Okay, we gotta really lead him. Let's go! Get wrecked. So is this okay, this is big shots glitchy and everything just speeds up. So I'm assuming it's just gonna be like a repeat of of the same kind of like modes over and over again. <clears throat> I think I hit my own beam. <laughs> All right, quit. That's kind of neat. I probably would have liked that if I was a, a youngin. Okay, that was space. I think we got one more section left. Casino games. Everyone's favorite type of game, man. Casino games. Nothing actually wrong with them or anything. It's just like, I'd rather just play cards IRL or, or whatever, you know? Oh, wait. Hold on. We got to exit. Do we have trippy mode for this? No. Player two and three play. Player two plays, three plays, one, two, and three play. One and two play. One and three play. Player one plays. Okay. Four. Fifteen. Twenty-four. Well, we're out. So. Oh, wait, no. That was my... That was my bet. No, I don't want to stay. Hit. Nine and three. Yeah, that's eleven. Wait. Oh, that's 12. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I don't know how to math, man. Okay. Two and four. That's six. Definitely hit. Uh, eight hit. 16. Um, stay. Wait, did we win? I think we won. Wait, did it just say lose? I'm confused. Ace two. So that's either three or 12. Uh, hit. 2, 4, 15, hit. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, stay. We won, apparently. 5, queen, 15. Wait, what? I didn't even get a, I didn't even get a choice there. I didn't get a pick if I wanted to hit or stay. Jack 10. Stay. What did he get? 3, 4, 8? I'm a little confused about the layout here. Queen 9, 19. Stay. 6, 8, 10. Win. Okay, 10. Queen. Stay. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's video blackjack, just with a really bad interface. What I expect. Anyways, guys, uh, it is like 2.30, so we're going to go ahead and call it there. Surprisingly, I played this game almost as long as we played Medal of Honor. Uh, <laughs> but that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me a little bit while I mess around with these games here. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so we'll be playing some more PS... No, wait. Fridays aren't PS2 stuff. We'll be playing either RimWorld or, or, or Civilization. It's normally a RimWorld Friday, but since we missed Civ last week, I don't know. I had to talk to OptiJack, see what he wants to do. Although I really am missing RimWorld. To be determined, though. Anyways, I hope to see you guys there. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. It's going to be good.